all about WordPress. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up WooCommerce shipping zone. You can add shipping from the WooCommerce default settings itself. So I'm going to show you how to add a shipping zone, how to add methods to it, and also how to limit shipping based on post -fall. So let's see it step by step. So from the WordPress dashboard, you have to go to WooCommerce settings section in order to add shipping. You can see a shipping tab over here. So if you are not able to see it, you must have disabled it. So you have to enable from general and shipping location. You can see there is a disabling option. So you have to enable it by clicking on another option and just by clicking the save changes. So since I have already enabled it, I can see the shipping tab over here. So this will be the page looks like. And you can see there is a location up over there or other zones. So you can add zones over here and other zones which does not come under the specific one that you created with runs and locations that are not covered by your events. So I'm gonna show you how to add a zone. You can just click on add shipping zone button. You can just give any name. So I'm gonna ship to India. So I'm gonna name it as zone name as India. And in this region, you can either add country, state, or it can be continent also. So I'm gonna add to Kerala. I'm gonna add shipping to Kerala. Hello. So if I want to limit any postcode, then I can just click the link here, limit postcodes, and I can I can just give a postcode over here. So while giving postcodes, you have to give it to the next line if you want to add second one. So I'll give it as uh, so I'm gonna add shipping methods only for these two areas. In order to add a shipping method, you can just click on add shipping method. So you can also see flat rate, free shipping, and lock the pickup. So the three methods are available. So I'm gonna give it as flat rate and add. If I want to give one more, I can just click on add method again and give free shipping or whatever you want and click on that. So the default method will be the top listed method. So here flat rate is the top one. So my default shipping method will be flat rate. Okay. So if you want to give a rate street, just click on the edit button and you can see it over here under the title taxable. I'm gonna rate that five. So this method is going to cost five rupees. Yeah, that's it. And if I wanna edit free shipping in that form, and you can see under free shipping where if you have a valid coupon then you can view that free shipping available only for this coupon and there are so many conditions to apply free shipping you can do whatever you want and this not going to give anything and this is going to save changes so that's it my changes are already saved so i'm gonna get these two methods and these two postcodes back to shipping zones So I click on some errors. So back to shipping zone, you can see my shipping zone in India over here. If you want to edit shipping zone again, you can just click on edit button. You can make the changes again. Okay. So Locations not covered by your zones. I'm gonna click on it. So the zones which are not covered under the one that I have given, I'm gonna add another shipping method. If you want, you can add one more. And I'm gonna add a big I'm gonna edit and give another amount. Yeah, let's do this. Same. 
So let's check how does it look in the side. Let's reload it. You can see a shipping log will pick up. It's because I have selected India and the state is going to be the awesome. So I have played only for the Kerala state. So our other zone, whatever the let it be country or different country. So for all other zones, it will be local pickup. But I have given a condition for India and also for Kerala state. And for the postcode 682022, I should get the flag written free ship just the way I defined it. And if I'm gonna change it to some other postcode within my zone, see, again it goes to other zones shipping method. So that's how it works. So if you wanna add one more shipping zone, you can again go to add shipping zone button and to add other zones so it's pretty much easy to handle over here this is how you can add shipping zone to WooCommerce by default thank you